glass slime, which is clear slime. And yeah, we're just going to show you how it's done. Um, we have this one that we made. Um, it hasn't set yet, so you can see a lot of air bubbles in it. Let's see if I take it out. Just want to make sure I get all of it so you can see the whole thing. As you can see, there's a lot of air bubbles. So all you have to do is just let it sit for a few days. But you can see it's pretty much, it's a good consistency and it's really clear right now. So making it sit for a few days will definitely do the job. Alright, so this is what we'll be making today. And if you stay tuned, we will also be making a video on a highly requested um, tutorial. It, we will be showing you how to color your own beads. As you can see, we have these beads right here. We made these ourselves, so we'll be showing you how to do that. And in that video, we'll be making a new slime called Dippin' Dots. Alright, All right. first, we'll be adding our clear glue. You want to add the whole bottle. And if you're using a jug of clear glue, it's five ounces. Just want to make sure you get everything in there. Obviously, when you're adding clear glue, you don't usually get everything out of the bottle, so I suggest like just having it like this for a while. Okay, so next we're gonna add our two ounces of water, it doesn't matter the temperature. I'm just going to mix that all together. We found that this clear slime recipe works really, really well. And that when you do make it, you want to make sure that it stays a little bit sticky because as it's setting, it's going to dry up by itself. So just make sure you don't add too much breath where it's not droopy. Next, we're going to take our borax solution. And to make this borax solution, you want eight ounces of water and one teaspoon. And now we're gonna take our, we're gonna take three tablespoons, I'm just gonna pour it. Three tablespoons of this borax solution and add it in there. Do not mind our spoon. We were making squishies last night, and it kind of dried up on our spoon, and we can't get it off, so don't mind that. Also, don't mind my bad pouring. It's really hard to do that. <laughs> so you're just going to mix that all together, and again, it's going to be really sticky, but that's okay. And as you can see, when you're mixing it, it's already mud, like it's already clear. It's just you want it crystal clear, so I'm going to make it sit for about a day or two. Okay guys, so this is our clear glass slime, and again, we're just going to make it sit for a few days, and this is, an, this is again one of the slimes we made a few hours ago. It still hasn't set yet, you can see there's more air bubbles in here, but the consistency again is really nice. And again, you know how that one was really sticky? We did the same thing to this one, and as you can see, it's not sticky anymore. It dries up by itself. So let's see. See, it's really, really, it's clearing up. It's starting to. And it's really, really droopy. Yeah. yeah, follow us on Instagram with our slime page called Slime by Nizer and follow our actual Instagram at Nizer's World 3. There you'll be able to see pictures and updates of our YouTube channel and our Etsy shop and also on our slime shop you'll be able to see pictures and videos of just our slime. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!